Hello everyone, this is Sonderia from Accessible Chess. And today we are going to demonstrate our new software, SK Chess version 1.1 beta. So this software will help you watch games, read books, and analyze your games with strong chess engines like Stockfish. So firstly, I'm going to show you how you can download and install the software. So here I have my browser open, which is Google Chrome. I'm going to navigate to the address bar and type accessiblechess.in. Control L to navigate to address bar. Control L, address and search bar edit. Blank. Now, accessiblechess.in. A, A, C, access, 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 accessiblechess.in. Okay, I have typed accessiblechess.in. Now I'm going to press enter. In, enter, blank, blank. Accessible chess dash a vision beyond site dash Google Chrome dash accessible left there and accessible right. chess accessible. So our website is open and you can explore this website a little bit and you will find the link to download SK chess. So I'm going to press tab and see if I find it. Accessible chess dash a vision beyond site visited current page link accessible accessible chess position link. SK chess promo video for chess base India. Subscribe as accessible chess button to a beautiful chess software for the visually watch later as accessible chess button to Share button menu. Play button to activate. Press enter. Watch on YouTube link. Download SK Chess V1.1 data link. All right. So I pressed tab a few times and I find this link. Download SK Chess V1.1 data link. Press enter. Enter. Alert. Downloading 31.2 MB. Setup underline SK underline chess underline 1.1 underline data.x. You might need to disable your antivirus software temporarily while downloading and installing SK Chess. If you face any challenge regarding this matter, please drop us an email at contact.accessiblechess at gmail.com. Mention your antivirus name and Windows version and we will come up with a solution. Alert, download complete colon setup underline SK underline chess underline 1.1 underline data.x alert. This dialog is not currently focused. Press alt dash data it focus says this that dialog. the download is complete. I will navigate to the downloads folder. Windows E. This PC dash file explorer. This PC items view multi select list box. Items view desktop dash file explorer. Desktop item Dropbox. Desktop document downloads center. The downloads folder can be in different places in different computers. So in my computer, it was just after I press backspace. Today expanded setup underline SK underline chess underline 1.1 underline data dot X application 31,950. Okay. I just pressed the up and down arrow keys a few times and I found setup SK chess. Press enter. Enter window dialog. Windows Defender Smart Screen about colon blank. Windows protected your PC. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. All right. So when you, in when you install the software for the first time, you might encounter this screen. Now this is a beta version and we are working on it in the stable version that we release we will try to ensure that the installation process is smoother than this so in this screen more info link press tab till you find more info enter about colon blank number run anyway button to activate press enter and then after pressing enter in more info you press tab a couple of times till you find run anyway enter Download stash file explorer items view multi select list box today expanded setup underline sk underline chess underline 1.1 underline data dot x application 31953 kb 104 to move to an item press the arrow keys setup select setup language select the language to use during the installation combo box english to change the selection use the arrow keys i would go ahead with the default settings but if you want to change anything feel free so press enter enter to change the selection, use the arrow keys. Set up dash SK chess version 1.1 beta dialog. Select the additional tasks you would like set up to perform while installing SK chess. Then click next. Preview additional shortcuts colon zero. Select the additional tasks you would like so set up to perform while arrow. installing SK chess. Then click next. Preview create a desktop shortcut checked. Two of two. Okay, so this is checked already, which is good. Press enter. Enter. Click install to continue with the installation or click back if you want to review or change any settings. Edit read only. Use your reading keys to read the text. Install button to activate press space bar. Alt plus I. Enter. Enter. Cancel button to activate press space bar. And we are waiting for this option. Set up dash SK chess version 1.1 well, beta done. dialog to navigate use tab. Set up has finished installing SK chess on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the installed shortcuts. Click finish to exit setup. Preview launch SK chess checked one of one to check press space bar. 
press tab finish button to activate and press space bar space on the finish button download stash file explorer items view multi select list box today expanded set up underline sk under download stash SKHSV 1.1 left pair and data right pair. Okay, so I have SKHS open Download here. Download 1.1 left. But I'll just show you right from the beginning after installing the software here how you can open SKHS. So I'm just going to close this with Alt F4. Now in the desktop, I navigate to my desktop with Windows plus M. And now I'm going to press S a couple of times till I find SKHS. Sidaria Kumar, sample 7, slash for SKHS 242. SKHS is here, so I press Enter. Enter. SKHSV 1.1 left parent data right parent select game colon combo box load a PGN file to view games one to one to change the selection so use the arrow key. in SKHS there are five areas that you could navigate to by pressing the tab and shift tab keys it's it's nice to be familiar with this structure because this is going to come in handy so the first area that you have is select game colon combo box load select a PGN game. file to view games one to one to change the selection use the arrow keys let's explore a little bit try press tab game area colon list box game Not area game area colon to move annotation colon read only annotation use your reading key. board colon read only edit board. use your reading key engine suggestions colon engine list suggestions. box Not selected load select game colon combo box. i press tab again and i'm back to select games so the first thing i want to show you is how you can make moves so let me go to the game area. Game area colon list box. Not selected game area colon to move to an item. Press the arrow key. In the game area, if you type the moves uh, just in the typical chess notation, the moves will be made on the board. For example, I want to play e4. E4. All right. Now the move e4 is made. And similarly, I can play e5, nf3. E, five, N, F, three. Now you see that the moves are being made very fast. You do not need to press space or the enter key to confirm your move. So in the long run, you will see that this will save a lot of your time. In order to check the last move, you can press Alt plus M. Alt M, two, Knight Felix, three. So it says that the second move is Knight Felix, three. Now to navigate between the different moves, press left, right arrow keys. F3, G, E5, E7. E4, E2. I'm in the beginning of the game. You might have noticed something that I'll explain very soon. So I'm in the beginning of the game and I'm going to press right arrow. E4. It says E4. So this uses the standard IBCA notation for clarity and ease. E4. E4, 5. E5, again right arrow. Knight Felix 3. Knight Felix 3. All right. Now, what happens if you press left arrow? F3, G1. It says F3, G1. So this will help you in doing blindfold preparation, for example, or while backtracking moves. You press the left arrow and it will tell you in reverse the last move so that you can easily find the previous position. All right. Now I want to show you how you can open a PGN file and watch games. Well, the simplest method to do it is to press Ctrl plus O. Ctrl O, file name colon. Open PGN file dialog. File name colon edit combo. The set of value use the arrow key. It says type open value, PGN file dialog. File name colon. So here we press Shift tab a couple of times. Explore yesterday expanded. Test.pgn. PGN file 1kb. One of two. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. Now I have found a folder with PGN files. So I'll press down arrow. Last month expanded. Last month expanded. With Winnipeg Games. PGN two of two. Well, this is the file that I was looking for, so I'm going to press enter. Enter. SKHSV one point one left parent data right parent game area colon list box not selected game area colon to move to a now. Name. In order to select a game or to view the list of games, you should be in the game list. So press Shift plus Tab. Select game colon combo box one. Arrow vertical bar 1900. So we are in the select game control, control and vertical here, bar 1 0, 1 of 10. To change the selection, use by the arrow pressing keys. up and down arrow keys, you can navigate between different games. Two, 
Arrow vertical bar 1938.11.15 vertical bar 7 vertical 3. Nottingham vertical bar 1936.08.25 vertical bar 34. Tal Dashman World Championship Re 2 vertical bar 1093. Nottingham 2. Avro vertical 1. Avro vertical bar 1938.11.22 vertical bar 11 vertical bar Mikhail Bitwinik dash Jose Raul Capablanca vertical bar 1 dash 0. 1 of 10. All right, so I pressed up and down arrow keys a few times in order to navigate. For example, down, Two, arrow vertical, down, three, Nottingham vertical, down, four, tail dash with five, down, Monte Carlo, four, up, three, up, two, up. arrow vertical bar one. Avro vertical bar 1938.11.22 bar 11 vertical bar Mikhail between the selected game. game area colon list box not selected game area colon to move to an item press the arrow and key and now in the game area you can navigate through the game by pressing the right arrow key you would move to the next move David 4 Knight Felix 6 Caesar 4 Eva 6 Knight Caesar 3 Bishop Bella 4 it is so easy isn't it Eva 3 now you hear this ding sound after Bishop Bella 4. Now this tells you that there is a comment or annotation written by the author. In order to read the annotation, you can press Alt plus A. Alt left bracket diagram right bracket the Rubenstein's variation of the Nimzo dash Indian. All right, so I'll go write a couple of more moves and see what happens. David five, Anna three, Bishop takes Caesar three, Bella takes Caesar three, Caesar five, Caesar takes David five, Eva takes David five, Bishop David three, Kingside Castling, Knight Eva two. Bella 6. Kingside Castling. Choose a variation dialogue. Select a variation to continue colon list box. Bishop Anna 6. 2 of 2. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. So now we are in a variation dialogue. This means that in this position, there are multiple possible variations which are given in the PGN file. So if you want to uh, look at the main line that's on the bottom, which is selected by default, but if you want to see the sideline, you can press up arrow. Knight Caesar 6, one Knight Caesar 6, and go right. That's Knight Caesar 6. All right, and again we hear the ding sound, so this means there's an annotation. Alt plus A. Alt to illustrate the previous point, let us take a look at the potential variation where Black develops his bishop on E6 instead. All right, so there is a variation which continues this way. And then you would press left arrow. C68. And go right again. Choose a variation dialogue. In order Select to a variation go to, to the continue colon list box. Bishop Anna 6, 2 of 2, to move to a S Bishop Anna 6. Okay. So now I want to show you how you can use a chess engine to analyze such a position. So again, the simplest way to load a chess engine is to press Control plus E. Control E. File name colon. Open engine dialogue. File name colon edit combo. To set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. Alt plus N. Shift plus tab a couple of times. Expl no items match your search. Now my engine is not in this folder, so I'm going to press the backspace key. Shell folder view, explorer pane, folder layout pane, shell. Earlier this month, yesterday expanded, sample, file folder, two of four. Okay, move to so item, press the, earlier this month expanded, I believe earlier stockfish this month expanded. must be there in this folder. Dropbox installer, do stockfish, dash windows, dash yes, x86, dash 64, dash apps, press 244. Enter. enter, shell folder view, explorer pane, unavailable, explorer pane, blank, stockfish. Earlier this month, stockfish one of one. Enter. Items view list box wiki two of three. Stockfish dash windows dash x eighty six dash six four dash apps two dot x one of three. All right. So I explored a little bit and eventually I found the stockfish exe file that I have downloaded. Enter. SKHSV one point one left parent data right parent game area colon list box not selected game area colon to move to an item press the arrow keys engine loaded successfully. So it says engine loaded successfully, and time to see what. Stockfish suggests. So shift plus tab a couple of times. Select game colon engine suggestions colon list box 0 0.47 colon F3 depth colon 22 1 of 5 to move to an item press the arrow keys 0 0.48 colon F3 re8 depth colon 21 0 0.48. So the suggestion list here will keep updating every 10 0. seconds. 0.4 colon F3 BXD3 QXD3 re8 and 3 and BD7 BD2 depth colon 21 0 0.4 colon. Now, if you press down arrow, you can see the next suggestion. 0 0.34 colon sa 6 sa 6 QD3 and C7 DXC5 DXC5 C4 depth colon 20 2 of 5 0, 0 0.32 colon sa 6 sa 6 QD3 and C7 DX 0 0.17 colon 4 BXD3 QXD3 and C6 sa 3 C4 QC2 depth colon 21 4 of 5 0 0.18 colon 
Zero zero point four three colon N three eight three BXD three QXD three N B D seven BB two depth colon twenty one two of five zero point zero point three five colon F three eight depth colon twenty two one of five. So you use the typical navigation keys such as up and down arrow keys to read through the analysis. If you want to accept one of them as the move, zero zero you just need to select it and press the space key. Space move decision dialog. Do you want to add this move to the main line or as a side variation? Sideline button to activate press. Space it asks bar. us if you want to add this variation to the main line or sideline, and I would suggest to take it to the sideline just for the purposes of analysis. Enter SKHSV 1.1 left parent data right parent engine suggest. And now very interesting Zero thing point. is that you can also watch uh, the game in the sense if you press the left arrow key. F3 F2 calculating G1 E1 B6 it is E7 automatically E2 G1 you know, analyzing the new position. 0 0.27 G88, calculating dot dot dot, select game colon com. So it becomes seamless to navigate through the game and analyze the position. Now I'm going to show you something that you might find interesting. I'm in the game list control. And here if I press down arrow key, Two. Arrow vertical bar one the thousand, next game is open. One now, point one five vertical bar seven vertical I can press the right arrow key right here one dash zero, two of ten. to watch the game. Knight Felix 3, David 5, David 4, Knight Felix 6, Caesar 4, Eva 6, Knight Caesar 3. Again, down arrow. 3, Nottingham vertical bar 1000, Caesar 4, Eva 6, Knight Felix 3, David 5. And I can see the next game, right? So you do not need to press tab every time you are changing the game. I think this is especially useful while you are preparing an opening. If you figure out that uh, the current game is not what you're looking for, just down arrow and move to the, you know, just watch the game. So this saves a lot of your time. All right, so at any point, if you want to free up the space in your computer, uh, so you can turn off the engine by pressing control plus space. Control space, engine disabled. And David four. Let's say you press right arrow Knight a couple Felix of six. times. Knight Caesar three. Bishop Eva seven. Bishop Gusto five. And you have reached a position, and you want to analyze here. Press Control plus Space again. Control Space. Engine enabled. Engine suggestions. Colon list box. Not selected. Calculating. Dot dot dot. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. Zero point two two colon H six. Depth colon nineteen. Zero point zero point zero point two two colon H six. Depth colon nineteen. One of five. 0 0.15 colon H6 BXF6 BXF6 E30 dash ORC1 C6 depth colon 22 0 0.15 All right. colon So again typical thing it is updating the analysis time to time Now before I conclude I would like to show you the menus and how you can explore them So first you press the alt key Menu bar file to navigate press left or right arrow F Now it says menu bar file So if you press the down arrow then you can access the items in the file menu but suppose you want to look at another menu, press the right arrow key. Speak, yes. So it says speak. Now, if you press down arrow, you will access the items of the speak menu. Speak menu, speak position, left parent, alt plus P, right parent. To move through items, press up or down arrow, yes. So it says speak position, alt plus P. Now, this means that if I press enter here, this, this will speak the entire position. And the shortcut key for speak position is alt P. So anywhere in the game, if you press alt plus P, it will speak the current position. Okay, I'll press down arrow once again. Speak annotation left parent alt plus A right parent Speak S. Speak annotation. Speak last move left parent alt plus M right parent S. All right. Speak position left parent alt plus P right parent S. Now let us explore another menu, which is the game menu. So I'll press the right arrow key once. Menu bar, game menu, new game left parent control plus N right parent N. So it says that the shortcut key for new game is control plus N. Delete move left parent alt plus D right parent D. Flipboard left parent control plus F right parent F. Now, one interesting shortcut we see here is control plus F to flip the board. Now, let me try pressing enter here. Enter board flip to black's perspective, leaving menus, game area colon list box, not selected game area colon to move to an item, press the arrow keys. So now the board is flipped to black's perspective. Now, if I press control plus F once again, the board will flip to white's perspective. Let's give it a go. Control F, board flip to white's perspective. Yes, I hope it is now very clear how we can use this software and uh, please feel free to explore the menus. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, please drop your questions, ideas and suggestions in the comments. 
and write us at contact.accessiblechess at gmail.com.